Hi, I'm Lena from Witchy Wisdom 1. I'm your Thursday host. Although it's not Thursday when I'm posting this because I didn't know we were starting this week, so I got it all muddled up. Um, sorry that I'm a bit distracted today, so I may not be at my best. It's so sunny outside, and I'm like completely sunburnt, and oh, I can't breathe. Anyway, today, <laughs> this this week's topic was on like the teen Wiccan witch, which, you know, like neo pagan basically and like kind of tips and just a little discussion about it I guess. I guess there's like three, I hope you see me looking down, I'm looking down at a note because I need to keep track on what I say because I'm so distracted right now. Um, so I reckon there's like about four separate parts that we kind of need to consider with the like teen neo-pagan because I think that like I know some people say that like it's there's no difference but I think when you live like between like a teenage witch and a witch that's or neo-pagan that's older and you know like can practice later like in their 20s or something but I think the problem is is that there's school, there's parents, because you're living with your parents, there's friends, and also there's all the stuff that teenagers do, like, I don't know, partying and, well, and this doesn't happen all the time, and you know, like exams and all these things that we've committed ourselves to. Well. You know, <laughs> bear with me. So first, let's talk about school. So, school can be really hard for like the teen neo pagan because, especially like in secondary school, I think that's the hardest one for people because people are immature and it's all about getting to the top of like the social ladder, and if there's anything out of the norm. And that's like any spirituality I find, es like, but especially in odd spirituality such as, such as neo paganism. Um, but the whole thing is trying to keep it down to the lowest sort of. I mean, it's all right to be open with your faith. But then a lot of people do get bullied because of it and like I do know some people who have been picked on and have you know been un unpopular and not had as many friends because of her faith and that's ridiculous you know. Um, so it's alright if you want to put your faith out there and I think it's really important for some people who feel like they wanna like a main part of their faith is like kind of showing everyone well not showing everyone but like displaying that they're proud in their religion and that it's a part of their everyday life, you know? Um and I think that's absolutely fine, but I think that people have to be careful, especially in like secondary schools, because there are people out there that will judge you for things that like for things like that and it's horrible but it's the truth. The second thing is parents and teenagers generally live underneath their parents roofs so I mean we need to take in, into account what our parents you know want us to do. Um, they want us to uh, I have to water my rosemary, I'm sorry, I can just see it beyond this. It's all wilted. Wait a sec. Alright, sorry. We have to take into consideration the things that our parents, like, the ground rules that our parents set for us because it's respectful. I mean, they bring us up and, I mean, they do, you know, mainly love and care us and you know buy food for us and 
you know, all these things that they do for us, it's only right that we respect them in, like, I don't know, say if they don't let you do incense or oils. Um, sorry, it's my cat. Are you coming up? Anyway, yeah, my kitty. Sorry, I know it's really boring when that happens. Um, but we need to respect them, like, if they don't want incense and oils burnt, then it's respectful not to burn them. But then, there are some cases, which this didn't happen for me, like, thank goodness, where parents, like, stop their children from practicing a faith at all. Like, well, you know, other than the ones that they want them to do, if they do. Um, and disapprove of their faith so strongly in their choice of religion and like field of study especially like, in neo-paganism which is very very like common for um, places in like the western world especially where a lot like where the majority of people are Christian but um, I think again the respect rule kind of comes into place here, like, we must kind of respect our parents' values for, like, I mean, wanting us not to do, like, they've definitely got a reason why they don't want you to practice neo-paganism, but, I mean, maybe you could talk to them and, and have a discussion, like, I have a discussion on the why they think it was bad but you know if they really are keeping it narrow-minded then we have to think you know how can I practice in a way that won't affect them how can I practice in a way that won't harm them or you know anything like that be discreet and that is by by doing lots of things by you know not and one of the main things is you know not bringing your craft inside your house like where your parents live with you if they find it that offensive but there are plenty of other places to research like in the libraries there's like loads of different options for us I mean I know some Wiccans do feel like trapped when their parents like don't allow them to do such things but there's other places to go and like as long as you're being respectful to your parents they can't really do anything to stop you from practicing your faith okay another the third thing is friends and friends is really important because friends are important to anyone's life and I think that um, people do have different types of friends like they have the friends that they've been with forever and then the friends you know they're at their school their friends are from their old school friends you know all sorts of different friends and I think it's really important to have like friends also, that you can share your, like, pagan practice, your neo-pagan practice with, like, because it's a very sensitive part with you, and if that person is respectful and, you know, like, can talk to you about it, then it's lovely, it really is a lovely thing to discuss your spirituality with someone else, it really is. And a lot of people don't have that at all because they are like their friends aren't open to any of that, maybe their friends are from different faiths but it's it's very important not to kind of push this like you know completely push yourself to your friends you know like I'm a neo-pagan, I'm a wiccan, I'm a witch, you know whatever like because they'll get freaked out and they'll be like you know I don't care because friends don't like friends that aren't sort of people who you can talk to spiritually they are not friends for you for that 
I don't know if that makes any sense. Another thing that teenagers have to be wary about is their priorities. And I think it's really important to keep living as a teenager when you're a teenager, even though like your faith, you know, is a very big part of you. Like I still think that, you know, letting loose and, you know, going to a party and having a few drinks is all right sometimes, as long as you're putting perspective to the rest of your life. And I mean the goddess and god aren't going to look at you like, you know, if you are letting loose. I mean, I think it's a big issue for lots of people and I've read like loads of, especially books like on Wicca, they're like, no, no, like alcohol, no drugs, whatever, because it's it gets in the way of your craft. But I don't think it does at all. Like, I'm not saying, yay, go alcohol, go drugs. But I'm just saying that your faith shouldn't be the reason why you're not having fun and not experiencing things. Because I think it's very important to like experiment and experience things when you're a teenager. And I think that can get in the way of lots of people, of lots of people's kind of like teenage lives if they're practicing a neo-pagan faith. Um, I need to hurry this up. Um, also, things like exams, obviously it's really important to prioritize your exams, guys. We all know this. Um, so, you know, there's, you have your whole life to expand on your spirituality. It's a very important part of you and it will never go away. If you've got it now, it will never go away, you know? Um, so just, you know, keep on going. I hope this video has um, helped you. <laughs> okay then, see you later. Bye!